I'll teach you five Excel formulas that all finance professionals and students must be aware of. But sadly, a lot of them don't know. The first one is using Excel to calculate IRR. So you have these cash flows, initial cash outflow of 10,000, cash inflows of 4,000 every year. How much is the IRR? You have just the formula is equal to IRR. Select these amounts, you get the IRR, which works out to 10% or 9.7%, right? So that's how you can calculate IRR quickly. Then, if I want to calculate present value of these 4000 today, how much is that? So for that, I have a formula PV, which is present value. What is the rate? Let's say I want rate of 10%, number of period 3 because there are 3 years, payment is 4000 every period and type is at the end of the period. So I'm paying at the end of the period. So I'll select zero here and I close the bracket. I get 9947 is the present value because I have considered 10%, right? So this is your present value, right? The next one is if I want to earn 10,000, how much should I collect? So for that, we have a formula for calculating amount, which is PMT rate 10%, I need 10% for three periods. Present value is 10,000, future value is zero and at the end of the period, so that is 4,021. So basically, if I want 10%, it has to be 4,021. Four thousand twenty-one, then it becomes ten percent, right? Excel is a magical tool with the help of which you can calculate these things really quick, right? Then the third formula helps me determine. Now this amount can also be used to calculate EMI or annual payments. Then the third formula which I can use to calculate things really quick is to determine number of periods. For example, I give ten thousand to you, and you give me two thousand every year. For how many years should I collect so that I earn 10%? So for that, we have number of periods and per rate 10%. Payment is 2000. Today, I have given you 10,000. Future value should be zero. And at the end of the period, so 7.27 years. So if I have to collect the amount and earn 10%, 2000 per year, I need to collect the payments for 7.27 years, right? And the last formula is future value. If I want to know, if I give you 4,000 every year and I want to earn 10%, how much will I receive after three years? So for that, you have future value, rate 10%, number of periods 3, payment 4,000, present value is 0, type is at the, it can be beginning or at the end. I'll say beginning of the period because I'm giving today. So it's 1, the future value will be 14,564. So that is the amount that I will receive if I give you 4,000 every year and earn 10%. These Excel formulas, if you start playing around with it, a lot of calculations around financial modeling, IRR and all of that will be super, super quick for each one of you. And if you want to learn more formula, if you want to master the Excel, if you want to understand what are the things needed for financial professional or students, you can check out our course on Microsoft Excel where we have covered lots of areas which would be really interesting for you.